stop right there. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're all very welcome here to the Manchester Arena, where Eddie Hearns Matchroom Boxing is proud to bring you 12 rounds for the WBA Lightweight Championship of the World. We're sponsored by Grosvenor Casinos, StubHub, JD Sports, and WeBuyAnyHouse.com. We are live and exclusive on Sky Sports. This is Pride of Manchester. All our officials ringside appointed by the World Boxing Association and the British Boxing Board of Control. Representing the WBA from Canada, Mr. George Martinez. Representing the boards, Mr. Robert Smith and Mr. Alistair Hayes. Our three scoring judges. From New York, USA, Ms. Julie Lederman. From Florida, USA, Mr. Carlos Sucre. And from Belgium, Mr. Philip Verbega. Timekeeper, Mr. Jamie Kirkpatrick. And the referee in charge at the bell from England, Mr. Terry O'Connor. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance here at ringside, the officials are ready. The boxers are ready. Are you ready for the main event? <laughs> Introducing the challenger, boxing out of the blue corner, winning white and gold with purple trim. On the scales, nine stone, eight pounds, eight ounces. Brings to the ring a 36 fight record, 29 wins, 11 inside the scheduled distance, only four defeats, three draws. The former English champion, former British champion, former WBO Intercontinental champion. Tonight, he is the challenger, the fighting bride of Manchester, England, Anthony. Across the ring stands the champion, Damas Caballeros, el campeón del mundo, wearing sparkling silver and black, weighing in at nine stone eight pounds. From 34 contests, 32 wins, 20 inside the schedule distance, one defeat, one draw. He is the reigning WBA lightweight champion of the world. From San Pedro de Oraba, Colombia, Dalis Perez. We are gentle spot in the changing room, you know what I expect. Shake hands, best of luck, God bless you both. A super 50 50 pick em rematch after their controversial draw here four months ago. The WBA nine stone nine champion Darlis Perez defending his belt. Anthony Crawler challenging all over again. It's a clean slate. Is it round 13? Taking it out, round one. Or would you prefer it to be round one, Glenn? Both camps, both tactics. Well, you know, we've, we've, they know each other so well. We know them so well. I think what we, what we had was a very good fight the first time, and we're going to get that that again. Who can do something different? That's the, the big question. Who can turn it up a little bit, because that's what it's going to take. Will it be the fairy tale ending to a fairly nightmarish year for Anthony Crawler, or will Dalis Perez prove he is indeed the real ruler? He blamed bad preparation last time out, an allergy to pepper that he uh, had in some food over here. He said he felt poor on the night and terrible afterwards, dehydrated, but took nothing away from Crawler's performance. He uh, established that jab early, which was a key weapon. He hurt him in the second round, and he seemed just to improve session by session, and the confidence, everything about the, the whole 
sort of armory that Anthony Crawler possessed through the fight, mentally, physically. It was a terrific performance. Yeah, it was, it really was. It was something, you know, he just looked like he'd, he'd risen above anything he'd ever done, as if, you know, what he'd been through, and, and as if everything that was getting snatched away, he had back, and he was just so grateful that he went for it with, with everything he had. And you know, already he's the first one to, to land those nice little left hand and left hook. Perez hasn't come out oozing confidence or looking razor sharp in the first round. Prestigious so. amateur Darlies Perez. And only one defeat on the professional slate. He's a man from a tough area of Colombia. He loves to fight. And he probably let himself down last time, although he believed it was really close. Got out with the draw, he's come back. Right hand just whistles past from Crawler. Combination from Perez. Both trying to hold center ring. And he could just feel the intensity around what, what was an electric atmosphere when Crawler came in, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. I mean, I think people have really grown to him. You know, what he's been through knowing that he's a hero outside the ring and I mean he looks likely to be a hero inside the ring in the last fight but he's got a chance again good job from Perez strong and forceful and again both trying to get that upper hand early he didn't really do anything in the last 20 seconds though Perez when he landed a couple of shots good start from Pella I'd be happy with that On. It's a really good time for boxing. Next week is massive for tactics. Klitschko Fury, that's our offering on Monday night. Tuesday and Wednesday, we go behind the ropes into the scenes of the camps. Vladimir Klitschko Tuesday, Tyson Fury Wednesday. Don't miss those. We decamp to Dusseldorf for countdowns on Thursday and on Friday. Saturday is the special event on Sky Sports box office. We get underway at 7 o'clock. The world heavyweight title, the unbeaten Tyson Fury. Can he do it? Or will Klitschko continue his reign? It is mouth-watering, Glenn, and you'll be there. <laughs> we certainly will. And what a place to be. It's going to be fantastic. Tonight. It was Hanover or Manchester, two world title fights. Martin Murray, unlucky out there. Can Anthony Crawler become the next world champion for Britain? Our uh, congratulations to Lee Haskins as well, who didn't get the fight against Randy Caballero, but has been made a world champion again. British boxing's booming. Can Crawler pick up from that and deliver another top-notch performance? Well, it's in his hands. The build-up, he says, has been excellent they're, they're very very confident they've done everything that has been expected of them moving into this fight sparring's gone well so i think you know he's just got to give it everything you have to in a world title fight didn't quite give enough last time the judges felt so this time he knows he's got to take it into his own hands and really work out this win Good right hand to the body from Perez. Crawler, who's been sparring with Stephen Smith and Scott Quigg, who's in his corner tonight for speed, and Zelfa Barrett, Pat Barrett's nephew as well, for the awkwardness of Perez. But Perez told me he's had a terrific training camp at home in Barranquilla in Colombia. They normally go to LA, they didn't. He stayed home, and he said it has been perfect. It's a really tight start, isn't it? Both of them fighting punches early and the battle is brewing already i would have thought perez would have given better work out in la with with the guys out there in the busy gym than he would have done in barranquilla in colombia but i don't know who they brought in Crawler getting his defense up the plan was to throw a few more punches just keep the combinations going get on top of Perez. Good left hand from Perez. He looks a bit tighter and cuter. And physically so strong as well. They know 
each other, these two. And there's no search party, is there? They're no. right in the middle of the ring. No, and the box up from the, the middle of the ring. Probably tried to hunt them down the last time. Didn't get many times in and out of range. Hasn't got to stay in range that often. Which is where Perez can be dangerous, can pick up good shots there. But that's good there from Crawler. Nice work with the jab. Yep, utilized that well. Perez came back looking for the body shot as well. That's good from Crawler though. Accuracy with the jab. Timing. He says he's expected a better Perez, but then he is better Crawler from the time in the gym that he will prove he's come on tonight. Tip for tap. Did Perez take that one? It's close this already. Certainly won the first round for me, Perez, the, the, the second. But there's there's nothing in it at the minute. The silver and black of Dalis Perez, the 32-year-old from Colombia in fight number 35. And the white, gold and purple of Anthony Crawler from New Boston in Manchester. And I don't think it's just about the last year where people have warmed to him. I think it's been his story he's had to overcome hurdles and bumps and uh, people sort of dismissing him when he lost to Derry Matthews. He's come right back. Yeah, that great win over John Murray. People love an underdog that comes through. Don't yeah, they? he's come through, you know what, but he's always come through as well with a smile. Such a pleasant, nice man outside of the ring. You know, and I think people, you can't help but warm to him, can you? Yeah, he's a smashing chap, he really is. I was talking to... Uh, his good lady Fran at the way in and there's obviously nerves in the family but she's ringside tonight and will be watching as intensely as Anthony is concentrating whereas for Perez he has four kids back in Colombia he said their mouths to feed only to keep this world title and keep earning big but it's about a revenge thing as well for him, I think, Perez. I think he felt he let himself and his team down a bit last time. Yeah, I think he, you know, he didn't get up to such a great start. He was countering a little bit too much. He's looking to be a little more dominant as he's come out here. But he's still a little bit loose. The hands are down. There's gaps there. Trying to work the body, get that left hand moving. Perez, certainly more confident, more poised about him. But he is taking the odd risk as well. Yeah, he's making mistakes as he comes forward. He's not landing with anything. Body shots from Crawler. Good defense as well from the Manchester man. Digging in the uppercuts, Perez. This is going to be a really grueling one. You sense already. It's been laid out. We're only in the third round. The pace is going to be white hot. Oh, good defensive work from Crawler there. Been a little open in this round. Perez, good jabs again from Crawler. He's kept his boxing well. Worked head and body. Anthony Crawler, and that's nice. Yeah, that jab as well landing. Not everything getting through from either man. Just a bit more from Crawler. He sits here in the third. Good fight. Okay. Big breath. 
Yeah. Boxing well, all right. Just letting him touch too much. A couple of things we've worked on training. Right hand, you've got to roll your head after it. Right hand to the body, you're out of range. Right hand body, come up, left up to the head. All right, okay? Just little things getting caught with. And also, you're just getting into that rhythm where you're stepping back and stepping in. So it's timing you as you're coming in. Step back, pause, and then come back in, all right, okay? You're just coming back in, back in. It's just timing and timing you, crowd. And roll your head after the right hand, leaving it out again. Four, okay? Oh, very knowledgeable corner, and he's pretty knowledgeable about the uh, the game and the history as well. Anthony Crawler, he loves talking about the old four. fights and the modern fights. Good guy to be around, isn't he? Yeah, he, he really is. And he started this well, I think. Got the, the better defense, keep nice and tight, and better work with the jab. And the one thing I'm noticing is in the first fight, with the reputation he came out, he came out, you know, I, I was expecting to see a superstar. And then Crawler did so well. And we we thought maybe Perez hadn't hadn't worked that hard. Again, looking at this early on, I'm not I'm looking, I don't think you know Perez is, is unbeatable. I think Crawler can win this if he if he does it right. I think he really believes in himself now, Anthony Crawler as well. He was very dignified to accept the draw. No massive complaints in the ring or in the post-fight interview afterwards. That's just not in his nature. But as for Dalis Perez, he's been a perfect gentleman this week. Watched him uh, work out on Tuesday and thought he looked really sharp, comfortable at the weight. And he is the only world champion in Colombia at the moment. It means a, a great deal to him and his people. He's come with a good team. Left nothing to chance. This crowd starting to get behind Anthony Crawler, whose work rate is good, but Perez still throwing out plenty of leather here in the fourth. Yeah, it's one of those fights where he's going to have to tough it out, Crawler. He's going to have to show great character, great resolve come through some tough patches he's gonna have to want it more than Perez might come down to defense here Glenn and how many of the shots creep through how many are accurate that's a good body shot from Crawler and the three judges at ringside what, what they favor what they're seeing round by round yeah Crawler has got a tug off he's got to keep using good head movement which he started off with and Perez miss misses quite a lot and that's gonna tear that's gonna tear the, the Colombian out as Crawler comes back with a good spell. They're working the body, trying the uppercut, driving it through the middle. His big hero was Ricky Hatton. He used to sit up here in the gods watching his man when he was a kid, Anthony Crawler. He never believed he'd be topping a night like this. You looked round before, and yet you couldn't believe it, could you? No, fantastic. I mean, he really has risen up to, to star level. And that's great to see for someone who deserves it as much. Having a good round here, though. He's making Perez miss a lot, and he's landing with some good shots. But a blood to the crawler nose. A hard round. But haven't they all been so far? I wonder if something will give at some point. Because Terry O'Connor is just watching it like we are. Perez swinging and missing. Yeah, he's got a shot from Crawler, hurt him there, just momentarily at the end of the round. Won that round, okay? Lovely. All right, when you've landed your good stuff, Anthony, okay, big breath. When you've landed your good stuff, you don't stay there. You look lovely then, you landed some good shots, so you stay there and let him come back. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. Listen, you're hitting the body, lovely. Right hook's got it, left hook's got it. Left hook and foot's into the pit then. Yeah, right in a tree. Alright. Suck up, come on. Okay, he's feeling it, alright? You're hitting him the body shot. But when you're coming up close to the head, just touch the body head and whip the body shot round. That's Anthony had a good round against Dardis Perez and just troubling with a body shot I felt at the end of the fourth, Glenn. Yeah, but look at the way he was getting through them good uppercuts. He's coming up nice, getting through a body shot there. Then he makes Perez miss. And it's that sort of work that might make Perez come apart a little bit. He was getting a bit wild towards the end of that round, getting frustrated that he wasn't landing. 
Here's the fifth, the 192nd of Dones Perez's career, which began in 2009. It is the 220th for Anthony Croner, who started nine years ago. So he's probably got more experience in a funny sort of way, although Dones Perez is the world champion. Croner, the improver from New Boston, and Perez remaining the champion for now. He defended it in July. Can he do it again here? Break Manchester hearts. Good work from Crawler. Backing Perez up. But he wants to really turn the heat up on the Colombian tonight. Yeah, well, I think he has to break his heart as well if he's going to take this title. It's going to have to be another inspired performance from Anthony Corolla. And so far, he's fitting the bill. It's not enough movement, really, from Perez with the feet. He's just standing there with Crawler. Crawler's just a little lighter on his toes, in and out of range. He caught with a couple of silly ones in this round, Crawler. But he's looking for the big shot, isn't he, Perez? A lot. Yeah, he's trying to wind a, a punches up. And I think that's maybe a little sign of frustration. You know, the fact that Crawler's defence is good, that he's coming forward, that it's a lot like the first fight. Straight away, Crawler's in the groove, and Perez not having it the way he wanted it. There, he's feeding to the head, 
his arms are coming up, and then quick as a flash, he sees that gap. That was great reflexes, great time, and he knew exactly what he had to do. Picked the punch perfectly. And he is now the champion of the world. He gets the million dollar prize, the world title. Money won't mean a thing for Anthony Crawler. It is that moment of magic. Joe Gallagher and Anthony Crawler get it spot on. And nice guys do come first at times. Yep, well, they have there. Look what it means to him. All he's been through is a hero outside of the ring and now a hero inside of the ring. Well done, Anthony Crawler. It's a wonderful story. The have a go hero who almost did it in the summer finally delivers and emphatically in style in front of his people. What a night here in Manchester and poor Dalis Perez who came to retain his belt loses out. Great respect between the pair though. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 30 seconds of round number 5. Terry O'Connor reaches the count of 10. The winner by count out and the new WBA lightweight champion of the world. The fighting Brian of Manchester, Anthony Miller.